Hey guys, doing a quick little video on the preferences here in Tractor. I'm going to be very brief. I'm not going to go through every single preference, just the things that you really need to know. Um, you know, your audio setup, for instance. I'm going through my uh, laptop sound card here. So on my S4, that's like at 12 milliseconds. You want to be under 15. There'll be a little set in there if you have an S4, you click it and you can adjust a couple parameters in there. I'll go over to on some other video perhaps one day. Don't worry about the output routing. That's going to be, everything's going to be like when you run this setup wizard, this is the way it's going to be, right? Uh, I'm not going to get the time code. Um, load only in the stop decks. That's not bad if you want to make sure that you don't screw up during a gig. Um, you know what I mean? Like... Reset the mixer controls when loading. No, you don't want to reset deck controls and that shit because you just don't want to because you're using the MIDI interface. So, anyways, transport ah uh, 8%. That's not very good. 8% gives you that's your tempo range. So, the lower it is, the more accurate your pitch fader is. I like to be more like about you know 16, 18, whatever makes no difference. Uh, you want it on beat sync. Beat sync basically locks. When you press sync, it locks everything in the place and stays locked in. When you're in tempo sync, it matches. The sync will like line up the uh, beats per minute. But you can, it's kind of like Serato. So for hip hop, tempo sync might be a little better. I know you have to play around with it, suit you like. Remix decks, decks can be the tempo master. Only on, dare, on air decks can be tempo master. Let them checked. Saying that, you know, whatever is playing is going to be the master. Um, key lock. You want it in high quality if you got a, you know, a decent CPU. Scratch mode, you want it normal so it sounds like a scratch. I'll detect your loops. Just says that if a sec something's 10 seconds and under, it's going to automatically loop it. You can change that. Same with the time count. If you played it for under 10 seconds, it doesn't really count. Um, let's see, we can move this window up a little bit. Snap mode against vinyl mode. When you're in vinyl mode, let's see if I can demonstrate it quickly right here. <laughs> vinyl mode does that kind of crap, right? It sounds like vinyl. You best to be in snap mode. When you're in snap mode, it snaps to the closest beat marker. This isn't beat credit, so. But as you can see when I click here, if I clicked, you know what I mean? It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, deck layout. I kind of like to have mine as advanced. So I want to see everything. You know, my grid, my cues, all that stuff. Um, my deck C and D. I usually have them in remix decks, but, you know, advanced works. Um, it's all preference. It doesn't really make a difference. You know what I mean? Take your platter stuff off if you don't have time code. This doesn't even show up if you don't have pro anyways. This is the big one that a lot of guys don't know. I want to see full grid marks. My minute markers. Yes. And this is the big one. Ultraviolet spectrum. See the difference? Let me change that again. So yeah, ultraviolet which is bullshit. Infrared doesn't do bullshit either. X-ray, whoopee. Like, what the hell are you going to do with that? Spectrum. Spectrum makes a big difference because if it's in the red, that means it's the base note. If it's, like, high, you know, highs are going to be, like, yellows, pinks, and light blues. You'll learn very quickly when you're looking at uh, stuff how it's going to look, right? You know, like, give you an example. I'll just jump back here. And we don't have any sound rolling in this thing yet, so. But you can see, like, you know, that's the blue. Whatever. Like I said, this is going to be a quick video. I'm not sitting here trying to write a goddamn book in this shit. Track decks. Um, couple things here. I changed that to be, like, you want to see the key that you're in. And then for label, you know, some guys like to do, 
you know, I'll do bit rate sometimes, beats a queue, so that way you know how many beats to your next queue point. Or bit rate. If you got a lot of music and you don't know what's what, and if this shit would stay focused, we'd be alright. Um, track end and warning, the vault zoom, like, I mean, you can figure that shit out yourself. Remix decks, of course, you want to show the volume faders, you want to auto gain when you load in a sample. Auto save, ah, if you want to, you can. This here, it's your classic EQ Pioneer 600. I think it's a new marker zone. Uh, is it ISO? Another Pioneer 800 or some shit like that. Play around, see what you like. You know what I mean? They all have, sound a little different. Depends what you play, what speakers. Um, you know, set in your crossfader, smooth to sharp. You know, sharp if you're a scratch guy, smooth if you're anybody else, I guess. Um, that really should be set to like 9. Don't ask why. Turn on your EQ, your filter, your crossfader if you want to. Takes up some real estate, but who gives a shit? Global settings. Uh, you can put tool tips on if you need to know shit. Effects. Have some four effects. Change up the post fader. What that means is when you do like a freeze echo and you move your fader over, the echo is still sitting there. You didn't fade out your echo too. So it's preference. It's what I like. Um, we'll get into the mix recorder. That's just, you know, that splits it when you record audio. Loop recorder, leave that alone. Broadcasting. We won't even get into that. Ah, show cover art, show all this stuff. Show what you want to show. Doesn't matter. You know, you can go and you can name your four different layouts. Like I said, not that important. This here, you can import music folders at startup. I do it myself. Uh, analyze new imported tracks. That's not a bad idea. So when you import a new track, it automatically analyzes it, right? There's your directories for all your stuff. Music folders, you can add more music folders if you have more. Um, metadata sync. That's for a uh, tracker DJ on the iPad. I don't even know what the hell the error is all about. Because I just put the new update in, so we'll look into that later. Uh, you want to analyze here. Try to pick what you're going to be analyzing because you don't, if you make it too wide, if you went 60 to 200, you're going to have some house tracks at 64, some house tracks at 128, dubstep at 70, dubstep at 140. That's a big reason. You don't want to do that shit. Try to pick something like, I don't know. That's pretty good for my numbers. Uh, you want to display your stuff in open key for the Camelot mixing. You can look that up at some other point. Controller manager. Shit, that's a whole other ballpark. Here's my F1. And, um, yeah, I'm going to put this into MIDI mode and uh, there'll be another video showing you why because we're going to load up a custom map for effects on the F1 in a moment. So that's it. Um, hopefully that was helpful.